Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, boy. So I was about to record uh, drifting the Bugatti, but um, nothing has saved. I have to redo everything. Everything to make this car drift now. Well, this is about as good as it's going to get. Wait. Right, well, let's try drifting this thing. It might be, it might not be too good of a drift car. I've got a feeling that this might not be the best drift car, okay? I'm gonna admit this. I'm gonna be the first one to admit this. This might be, this might end up being a bit, a bit iffy, right? A bit, hmm. Right, well, let's try this thing. I mean, uh, uh, Um. Okay. Uh, I'm not too sure what that was. <laughs> uh, right, well, the, the beginning of, of, of this amazing drift car's career does not seem to be too promising. I mean, to be fair, like, this is a very good track car. It feels very good to track. Got a lot of tire, a lot of uh, suspension movement. Maybe, yeah, maybe I need to throw it down into complete, complete rear-wheel drive because it still has some power going to the front wheels. What if we remove drift mode? The fuck did you ask me, bitch, game? Right, let's try this. The car's going backwards. Right, neutral first. The car's going backwards, guys. I what is this? What is happening? Yo, are you guys seeing this shit, dude? What the fuck is happening, bro? Like, oh my, okay, reverse. Reverse starts pushing the car forward. Maybe second gear, oh. It's like the game has some kind of traction control. I mean, that's how it feels like. It feels like the game has traction control. And it's not allowing the car to move. Mind you, this is like 1002. Like this, this is the fastest car in the world. It barely gets over 100, dude. Look at this. I think it has traction control. I've never heard of traction control in SLRR, though. Never heard of anything like that. Difficulty A ABS ASR. Oh. 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 Okay, well. Right, that makes more sense. Right, that makes much more sense. It makes a ton more sense now. Oh my god. I was like, what the fuck is happening? Like, the car is not moving. I'm sitting there like, can it really be traction control? Who has traction control in SLRR, man? I don't know. Oh, it's a bit fast. Oh, there goes a $2 million car. I want to play around with these uh, drift modes. What is it asking me? It has asked asks me something i don't understand what the fuck is broken game restart is required to apply these changes once to make this change you know career, career will be saved yeah right well that restarted the game i don't know what i expected let's see drift mode does it have any effect on oh my it does actually it does actually have physics different it does make it makes it drive make, makes it seem like you're driving on ice Oh my god. Can I even complete one lap of this thing on the ro on the track itself? E-brake does nothing. Typical SLRR. I mean, it feels like the e-brake breaks all four wheels. It's it's like Nice. 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 I'm just sliding around. Come on. You got to be very careful with the throttle here. Completely, completely different drifting style than uh, than the previous mode. This is so slidey. Nice. No, what? Okay, well that was ridiculous. What the fuck happened there? Nice. No. What? 
Right, well, hmm. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. That's not good. That is not good at all. All right, so now we are on the medium drift setting. Let's see which uh, how it will do now. It feels a bit more SLR or like more direct this time. Mind you, I'm still I've still got like 10% of the power going to the front wheels. I keep forgetting to turn that off to see how it will do in real in uh, only rear wheel drive mode. Look at that. Epic non-counter steer drifting. This is straight up just like all your drive drifting. <laughs> it's like I'm on a rally. Look at this. I'm going... You kind of barely... Oh, shit, man. I mean, I keep hitting these panels, and these panels, they don't... They're not good to hit. Okay, it's not good to hit. Why does the front end lock up as well when I hit the e-brake, dude? I want to just continue to drift and rotate the car so I can just get into the corner, bro. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. I'm just kidding, bro. Like, we can... Come on. Oh. No, no, no. I mean, it kind of works. Okay, I, this is the best feeling setup we've had this, uh, this video. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, that was good. That was a nice reverse, boy. That was a nice reverse, boy. Okay, I admit that shit was good. Come on. I'm just, like, sliding all over the place, not even on the track. This thing will not do well on Shinjuku, I can tell you that much. I can tell you that much easy. Man, all your drive, bro. Like, I mean, it's got 10% power to going to the front. But when this car has like 1,200 horsepower, that's, that's, that's a lot of horses still going to the front then, allegedly. No, this time I didn't have enough 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 power to go power how how did I fuck that shit up even? Oh my god. Oh my god. So I'll be the first one to admit that this may not be the best uh drift car. Or a good drift car. Or a good idea to make a drift car. Would have been I think it would have been better if I just put a two Jay-Z into this thing and just be done with it, but I was very mesmerized by the V W W sixteen. Such a ridiculous engine, come on. But for what it's worth, if you can keep the car on the track, it's not about, it's not about, it's not about shout this, okay? It's not about shout this. It's not, oh, okay, that's a bit too much lock there. A bit opposite lock. A bit of, I was, no, that's a, that, that was a bad Scandinavian flick, that was. Right, let's downshift. Oh my god! Right, well, this is a very rowdy car. I'm not gonna admit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit that it's very good for reverse entries. It's very good for reverses, man. Oh, just got it right at the edge, man. Right at the edge. Tires are probably about to explode. To be fair. I, I have been pushing these bad boys. Okay. I've been pushing these bad boys real hard now. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they're uh, if they're pretty much done. They, they look very yellow. They look very yellow. Come on. Oh, yes. Okay, this car is drifting now. It's drifting good. Right? If it's drifting good. That was a bit of a... A bit of a bad... Of, I mean, it seems that I can't take this corner. Right? It seems that... I have some kind of um, some kind of problem with that corner. Mental, maybe. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I saw that shit coming from a mile away. I knew that. I knew I was in a bad position there. I knew I was in a bad position there. <laughs> oh my god. Right. So let's try this one. Let's go 100% to the rear to the rear wheels. Which are, uh, after the, the little accident, they're uh, much better. They feel much better. Um, just, just look at this. For one, fe two fenders, I've got to pay $23,000 to fix these two fenders. Like, the game's, the game's wilding on me, okay? The game is wilding on me, like, wild, okay? 
Right, well, let's try this again. This time, uh, completely rear wheel driven. Right, well, I've got my doubts on how well this will work. <laughs> we can't, uh, we can't even leave the start line. That's to be expected with the amount of power we, we're making. Oh my. Oh, e-brake did something. E-brake did something. That is unprecedented. Call the news, boys. Call CNN, because that shit... He brake flicked the car. Amazing. Yeah. I don't think this car was ever... Uh... Yeah, I don't think this car was ever meant to be a drift car, guys. I'm not gonna lie. It seems it was good as a reverse entry car on all-wheel drive, but... I don't think this car was ever meant to be... To be <laughs> real wheel driven, I'm not gonna lie. This is this is this is uh, this situation does not seem like we will be too happy with the end result is of, of a drift car. Also, this shifts so fucking slow. It's got a DSG big boss man. Why are you shifting like it's like it's got some kind of fucking dead ass manual? Oh my god! Look at it. Just it cannot get traction. Real wheel driver is not meant for this car. We're spinning at 120 kilometers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had no intentions of actually saving that corner. There was no way. Shit. That was not too cool. Nah, I just kind of lose. It's It's got a big... It's got a big turbo... It's got a lot of turbo lag and it just kind of suddenly kicks in and the real wheels go haywire. Also, to be fair, these like 255s and 255s on a Veyron does not make too much sense. I mean, if you go slow, I guess it kind of works. I'm starting to kind of get the hang of this car. Yeah, but it's not a forgivable car. It's not a forgive. I preferred it in all wheel drive, but it with a little bit uh, with a little bit more of a finesse touch. Okay, finesse this car a bit better. Uh, I think you can be. You will be able to drift this car. I think if you have a finesse touch. I don't have a finesse touch. I've got a 360 controller, and that's not a lot of. Uh, Nice. Well, yeah, this car is not meant for real drive. <laughs> right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for today. Um, I don't know. Thanks for watching. And uh, we probably won't see the Veyron for a little bit or a very long time. Or ever. I don't know. If you guys like the Veyron, it might come back as a fan favorite. But I don't know if it's going to come back. I've got my doubts for it coming back, but it's uh, it's doing donuts it's in, in second gear, so that's fine. Should we try it? Yeah, it's got third gear donuts in it. It's got third gear donuts in it. That's respectable. That's respectable. Fourth gear donuts. Oh my god. Oh my god. No fifth gear. I don't think we can get into boost for it to do a donut. Yeah, we can't get it into boost. No, it died. Well, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.